He leaves other kinds of streaks too. Ew. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Concept Art Sunstreaker! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We got Sunstreaker looking all Sunstreaker -y. Concept Art Sunstreaker Transformers on this side of the box. Oh, it happened again. On this side of the box, we have Sunstreaker. On this side, we have Sunstreaker. He is a Lus 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 Classic, Lus Lus Classic de Lujo, and a Class A Deluxe. Up top, Transformers Bumblebee. On the bottom, words think stuff. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product shots and your very brief little one sentence write up. If you want to read it in multiple languages, hooray for languages, and that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along, here we have Sunstreaker, and we have another concept art figure here. I do quite like these. And this is how Sunstreaker would have looked had he appeared in the Bumblebee movie. And uh, yeah, I think it's a pretty cool design, in my opinion. But yeah, here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look at that Sunstreaking crotch. He likes to streak. Let's take a look at that Sunstreaking noggin. There's the noggin. You can see it's a very Sunstreaker noggin. Got the ears there with the yellow, blue for the eyes, nice silver there on the face. Overall, some nice detail there. You got that nice trans clearance blue for the windshield chest. Love the shade of blue, it just really pops. Love that. A nice little Autobot symbol right there, front and center. You got some gunmetal gray here on his forearms, and I love the contrast between this and the yellow, and just the way the light hits it, it almost makes it look like it's like a mirror finish. It's not, but it just, it's kind of this weird kind of optical illusion that happens. It looks really good in my opinion. You got a bit of silver there in the wastial region. You got like an orange going on in here as well. Again, give you that contrast. Got some more silver. Little toesies. He's got like he's got the boots here. They gave him the bumblebee boots, which I do quite like with that bit of silver there. And move up the back. We'll see a little bit of car parts just kind of hanging out back there, but nothing too egregious. A little panel there for the back. Now, his upper arms are definitely a bit chunktastic here, because uh, you got the wheels and all that. You can see the wheels themselves are actually done in a transparent blue. Again, nice little pop of color there, but yeah. The upper part of his arms are definitely a bit uh, a bit chunktastic there, since they, you know, the wheels are just there, and there's no folding them away. There's just, they're just there. But overall, though, not too bad. I'm a little bit of hollowness. Near in the legs. Um, the forearms are totally hollow, unfortunately. But for the most part, overall look-wise, I think he looks pretty good. Now, articulation-wise, what have we got? I'm going to tell you. Uh, the head is on a ball joint. You get a little bit of wiggly-waggly. Just a little bit. He can look up ever so slightly, down ever so slightly. You can use this panel that his head is on. You can have him looking up way more and do a little squirrel, although it looks totally disjointed there, but you can do it if you want to. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out, but he has giant shoulder pads, so they kind of get in the way because he's kind of hitting his head with his shoulder pad. You can kind of bring that up and get a little bit extra movement, but then that looks... Kind of weird and awkward, so that, uh, that doesn't work out too well. Um, you have rotation right at the elbow. You have 90 degrees of bend at the elbow. Um, nothing at the wrist. Um, you do have waist rotation. Legs can move forward about that far back. You get about that far outward. Pretty much the full splits. You got thigh rotation. 90 degrees of bend there at the knee. As far as the feet, they can move up a lot. They can move down some, and you get a good bit of ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, we just get a pair here of double-barreled blasters. That's a pretty simplistic look to them. Now, if you want to store them, you totally can. They do tab together. Thusly, and then you come back here. And there are two ports on his back. You can plug that in, and there's your storage. Hooray for storage! 
or he can wield his weapons, of course, as a warrior should, so he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all of that good stuff right there. And no, unfortunately, these are not bluish compatible, oh well. So there you have that, and now for Gamparas Hun! Here he is with the Cybertron crew, so you can see how that works out, and they all look quite, quite good together, so... Uh, there you go! So that is basically it for the robot mode, and I think it looks pretty good for the most part. I mean, you know, how chunktastic his upper arms are is not very elegant. Looks fine from the front, once you turn him sideways, it's like, wow, there's a lot going on here. Um, the panels on his forearms, again, not the most elegant thing in the world, but it is what it is. It would have been nice if maybe they could have worked this to have these panels end up maybe going in here, so they fill in those gaps, but yeah. yeah. But overall, though... I think he looks pretty good, but let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take his feet, and we're just going to bring them all the way up like that. We're going to then take the legs and rotate them all the way in at the hips there, like so. Then you're going to take this panel here, just going to bring it up to untab it, and then swing it over. Bring it down, and it will tab in right there, so just get it lined up. We'll just tab itself in, like so. Do the same thing on the other side, second versus like the first. Bring that up, rotate it, and then just bring it down. Get it all lined up, like so, and then take the two halves, and tab them together, and you got that done. So now we're going to take the chest here, just untab it, and just pull it all the way out. Like that, kind of like a chest burster from Aliens. It's just kind of like... Anyway. So, undo that and take these window sections and bring them out to the side. Once that's done, you basically want to angle him down at the hips. Basically, just bring it down as far as it can go. That will allow this to go where it needs to go and just tab in right there. So you have him just kind of leaning over a little bit at the hips there. And now you can just take his head and flip it down. Take this panel here, untab it. It's on a double hinge, so just bring that all the way around. And just snap that into place and finish off the roof. And we're at the home stretch here. Just take this panel and bring it up. Then bring all of this down. Then you just want to straighten up the arm completely. And I'll just kind of thoop itself into place to finish off that panel. And then just bring this all in. Make sure that this goes underneath the window there. And just line all that up, push it in, there you have a side all done, second verse just like the first, bring that up, bring that down, strain the arm out, loop it into place, and then just bring it all in, get that into place, like so, and the last thing to do is just take the shoulder pads and shift them inward, shift them inward, Get everything all nice and squozen, and there you go. There you have Sunstreaker in his alt mode. Very good spin out of him. But there he is in his alt mode, and uh, yeah, he looks like a, uh, a Cybertronian Sunstreaker. It works. It works. I do quite dig it. But let's get in close here so we can take a look. Lots of little details. We got some nice bright blue there, as well as black. You got that orange right up front. And you got that nice blue plastic there. It doesn't look so blue now, but still a nice shade of blue there. You also have that blue there for the wheels. Looks quite good. You got that gum metal gray. Some nice detail there. Back. No tail lights. That's fine. You don't need tail lights on Cybertron. <laughs> but uh Oh no, looks pretty good. There is the top, there is the bottom. He does roll, as rolling things should. Hooray for rolling. And here he is with the Autobot Cybertron crew. Hooray for Autobot Cybertron crews. So, uh, there you go. Now, as far as the weapons, yes, they can be stored. You can do it one of two ways. You can use the post port connection here on the side and just plug them in thusly and have that going on. Or, or, or you can connect the two blasters together and you have these two slots right up top here for these two tabs. And you can just take that and plug it in thusly 
and thusly, and you can have that going on, and I think that looks way better. This is the one time I feel like the gun on the top of the car method of storage actually looks a lot better, but hey, it's storage, hooray for storage. And what would a Studio Series review be without the base of displayage? Oh yes, base of displayage. Let's open up the box, remove said displayage. Remove. Come on. Come on. Get out of here. Open it up. And of course, again, you have a little Cybertronian backdrop, 111 Studio Series, Transformers, Bumblebee movie logo, all that good stuff. You take the Sunstreaker, plop him down, and hooray for displayage. So there you have Sunstreaker, and yeah, another nice concept art figure here. Um, he's a pretty solid figure. I just wish his arms were done a bit more elegantly and just a little bit too, you know, chunktastic. There, a little too much junk hanging off of them. But, you know, all in all, pretty solid figure, though. Other than the not-so-elegant arms, it looks pretty good in robot mode. The alt mode, I think, looks really good. Pretty straightforward transformation. Not too hard to get him from mode to mode. So, all in all, an enjoyable figure to mess with. I think out of the concept art figures, I think Megatron is still my favorite, but this Sunstreaker is still pretty good, so there you go. And now I picked this up from Amazon, but you can also get Studio Series figures from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the Studio Series playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Concept Art Sunstreaker, and this is M Games saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Palm in your face. Right. Oh, Sunstreaker, where have you been? We need to evacuate immediately. Oh, I was just working on my paint job. But your paint job? We're being slaughtered out here and you're worried about your paint job? Hey, if we're going to evacuate, I'm not going to show up somewhere else looking all nasty like, well, like you. It's about function, not fashion.